on tonight. In our nation's capital, friends and family have launched a massive search for Justice Department attorney Joyce Chung. Chung disappeared from the city's trendy DuPont Circle area on January 9th. That night, agents say a friend dropped Joyce off at Starbucks around 825. That was the last time anyone saw Joyce. The brother Roger has been tirelessly canvassing the neighborhood. On a Saturday night at 8.25 p.m., this community is vibrant, uh, and there have to be some witnesses out there who have seen something. Within days, Joyce's government ID turned up across town, but FBI agents disappeared from Washington, D.C. two weeks ago. Good evening, I'm Hillary Howard. Up next, Monica Lewinsky. She's back in town and has everyone talking. Will she be questioned on the Hill? A live report. Also, are Republicans united or divided over the president's impeachment trial? A new poll has the answer. Plus, focusing on Joyce Chang. Police step up the search for the missing INS attorney. And this is January. Why the spring-like forecast can't live forever. Stick around. Those stories and the Sunday forecast are next. Tonight, America's Most Wanted has launched a nationwide search for a missing attorney with the Immigration and Naturalization Service. As Fox 5's Jacqueline McLean reports, authorities need a big break in this mysterious case. Roger Chong and Jamie Brindley refuse to give up, especially Roger. We're still very optimistic and hopeful that she is out there alive and will return home safely. A gentle wind blows the flyer with Joyce Chong's picture on it. This is Roger Chung's 28-year-old sister. The last time this attorney with the Immigration and Naturalization Service was seen was two weeks ago in DuPont Circle between Connecticut and R Streets. She simply disappeared. Anything is possible. We're still going on all scenarios, um, but it just leads me personally to think that foul play was involved. The only clues in this case have come from right here in Anacostia Park. And what little authorities have discovered has left almost everyone even more baffled. Baffled because the FBI found Chung's coat and ID cards near the Frederick Douglass Bridge. A body was also discovered, but it was not Chung. I feel so helpless and nervous, and I mean, you almost want to put your life on hold, just pray and hope that she will come back. 200 friends like Jamie Brindley held a candlelight vigil on Friday night. They are desperate for help. Friends are also hoping tonight's telecast of America's Most Wanted will be a big help. The Fox show aired Chong's story. No one close to Chong believes she disappeared on her own. So even if she was going to go away, I don't think she would leave for this long, and I, d I don't think she would do this to her family. The FBI suspect Chong may have been abducted either at random or by someone who knew her. Anyone who can solve this mystery has a chance at a $45,000 reward. Jacqueline McLean, Fox 5 News. And you're looking at a live picture now of America's Most Wanted Studios in D.C. They are ready to take calls from anyone with information about the whereabouts of Joyce Chan. If you have any information on her whereabouts, call the FBI at 202-278-2382 or the America's Most Wanted hotline at 1-800-CRIME-TV.